parks, schools, restaurants, and more, Assembly Row gets high scores. We're a thriving city with so much to do. Uncle Boston Harbor, in our view. Politics, cannabis, controversial stories, heroes, villains, who gets the glory? 50 plus languages in Somerville are spoken. Sanctuary City, there are no free tokens. The history in Somerville stays alive. In all American city, we won three times. Somerville connects. Somerville connects. Welcome to another edition of Somerville Connects. We're here with the lovely <laughs> Tara Avila yes. from Soma Salon and Spa yes. at Assembly Row yep. in Somerville, Massachusetts. Yes. Did I get that right? You did. You, it was perfect. Oh, thank <laughs> God. So, Tara, yes. you're going to take us on a little journey okay. on who you are, what you do, and I'm going to ask you a million questions. Okay. Um, so... Like you said perfectly, my name is Tara Avila, and um, I am one of the estheticians at Soma Salon and Spa right here in Assembly Row, um, which means basically that I do everything having to do with the skin. Um, I do body and facial waxing. Um, I do facials, uh, chemical peels, some lash and brow uh, services, like brow tinting, lash tinting, lash perms, basically anything having to do with the skin. I know nothing about hair. <laughs> Now, were you trained to do this? To, do you have like an esthetician license? license? Yes, yep. So um, in the state of Massachusetts, um, up until recently, you needed at least 300 hours. I think they just changed that to 600 hours. Um, wow. Yes, but I am from Providence. So I got all of my education and licensing um, in Providence originally, um, which then I transferred here to Mass when I moved to Boston about three years ago now. Yeah. So, so 600 hours right now, someone has to get to yes, become to an esthetician. Yes. And yep. an esthetician is someone that works with the skin. Yes. yes. The skin. Yep. You don't work with the hair. No nails. It's just skin. Yep. But at your salon, mm -hmm. what other services are provided? So we do pretty much everything having to do with skin or hair. Um, so myself and one of the other estheticians, um, Lonnie, who is also amazing, um, her and I do all of the skincare services. Um, Lonnie is actually also a triple threat because she does nails and she's currently in school to do hair. Um, and then we also have a whole hair stylist staff um, that do color, cuts, and certain like smoothing conditioning treatments as well. Okay, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about you. You were brought up in Providence, yes. Rhode Island. Yep. And what brought you to Somerville Assembly Row? How did you get from there <laughs> to here? So um, I went to University of Rhode Island for four years um, with a degree in communication, and I ended up just not really doing anything with it. Um, a couple years went by after that, and I'd always had an interest and passion for makeup. That was kind of my first love. Um, it was a hobby of mine. It was something I was very interested in. Um, so when I was researching how to make that into a career, like a profitable career, um, a lot of the things I read said to go get your license. Now both your hair hair licenses and skin licenses um, do cover makeup and you end up getting a certificate in that. I, at the time and still, had no interest in hair at all. Um, so the only other option for me would have been the esthetician license. Um, and I said, okay, I could, I could get into skin, like that's fine. Um, so I looked around for some programs and I stumbled upon the Aveda Institute um, of Rhode Island, which had actually just opened probably three or four months before. They have a lot of products. Yes, yes, oh, they have great products. They have a full hair line, a full skin line, a full body line, a makeup line, um, and then they also have institutes across the country um, that you can go and get either your cosmetology license or your skin license. And one had just opened like 20 minutes away from me, like six months before, so it was meant to be. So I enrolled and when, with the idea again of just getting into makeup, um, and I fell in love with skincare. 
really didn't think I would at all, and I completely fell in love with it. So what is it about skincare that makes you fall in love? Because the skin has many different layers. Yes. And what we see on the top I think can and be it, deceiving what's really going underneath. on underneath. So uh, there's two parts to it. I think anyone who's in this industry, whether it's hair, skin, nails, we're all perfectionists. So we like projects. So when we get clients that come to us, um, or at Soma, we call them guests. We kind of like to make a little bit more of an intimate experience. Um, we don't kind of want you to feel like a rotating, you know, in a rotating door. So we call all of our clients guests. So when I get a new guest that comes in um, that has a really big problem, especially with the skin, especially for women, it's something that a lot of women struggle with, um, men as well. It can be a really big burden on your confidence, on how you see yourself, things like that. Um, and there's so much information out there, it can be really confusing to try to figure it out on your own. So um, I'll get a new guest that comes in and it's really nice to start like a journey with them and kind of see them at what they're struggling with and along with them kind of work on a routine. Um, I'm not really about, okay, just come see me and fix it. I like to, a lot of it is about at home care. So talking to them about the problem, explaining to them what they're doing, what they're not doing, informing them so that they can also help progress and help treat the problem. Um, so perfectionist, having projects and seeing results from it is really satisfying for me. And then the second part of that is just how they feel afterwards. Every time they come in, um, they're seeing, starting to see progress, I'm seeing progress. Um, so yeah, that's probably my number one thing about why I love doing facials and things like that. Yeah. Beautiful. So tell us about the skin because a lot of people are not aware that the skin has many different layers. Yes. So when you work with the skin, mm -hmm. do you work all the way down? Do you like, I mean. Not usually. How deep, how deep do you go? Um, so my license does have certain limitations. Um, once you get really, really deep into the layers, like really, really deep, um, that kind of is more t towards the dermatologist side. If you have se severe problems with skin, severe acne, things like that, normally, the best and fastest route would be to get a dermatologist and also find a really good esthetician. Um, there are certain problems in certain uh, situations where medicine really does help. That's where a, a dermatologist would come in. Um, but it's not just about medicine, it's also about fixing it from the outside, which a spa and esthetician would come in. So the dermatologist can help with prescribing medication, working and detoxing from the inside, um, and obviously has much more schooling and licensing and can help in a much deeper level. Um, but then also seeing an esthetician for treatments, helping from the outside, and then also your esthetician can help you with that at-home care um, for in between those appointments. That is makes a huge, huge difference as well. What kind of at-home care do you tell your clients? Just talking to? about certain products to use, mm -hmm. um, and it might not necessarily be a very particular product line, just in general things you should be using cleansers, exfoliants, when to use them, how often to use them. And that's not a very generic kind of thing. It is very personal to what that person needs, what their skin needs, and then also realistically what they have time to do. Not everyone can afford to do a you know 30 minute routine twice a day. So it's about making a very individualized routine for sure. that person and what their skin needs. And that also can be affected by if they are taking any medications for their skin or what their dermatologist has suggested, things like that. Now, do you advise young people, even people, when they get older mm -hmm. to stay out of the sun? Always, that is the number one, number one thing that you can do preventive um, for your skin. Um, and then all along, or the whole way, pretty much, yes, for your whole life, just skin sun protection is the number one recommendation for pretty much any problem you can think of. Tanning, tanning boots? Oh no, oh no. <laughs> that's, I honestly, I forget that pe that's still a thing and people still do that with all the information out there. Right. Yeah, people say that and I'm like, what? But yeah, you're, I guess people must still do that. But yeah, no, stay away. Stay okay. away. <laughs> so what do you love about working here In assembly at Assembly Row? Row? Because this is a fabulous place. It is a fabulous place. Um, I started at SOMA two years ago. Um, SOMA opened, we were one of the first um, spaces to take a spot. So we've been here a full five years this fall. I know Assembly Row celebrating their five year pretty much all summer long, which is great. Um, oh, this is five years. Yeah. 
Can you believe so it? So we will be five yeah. years. So we will be five years in November. Yeah. Um, so when I came on, it was two years ago, it was a, a beginning of May, two years ago. So we, I just passed my two year anniversary. And congratulations. Thank you. Um, and Soma is a Aveda, a full concept Aveda spa. Um, so like I said, my roots, I went to an Aveda Institute. So since then I've worked on and off at Aveda spas, at spas that held other products. I am a huge product junkie, so I liked working with other products as well. Um, but I always find myself coming back to an Aveda spa. Um, it's just a very different experience for most spas and salons that you go to. We have our own rituals. Anyone who's been to an Aveda spa knows what I'm talking about. It's very- Yeah, do tell, what do you mean? So your rituals, this can go many yes. different ways. So we believe in full body wellness. So- um, Beautiful. It's not just about your hair, not just about your face. Um, it's kind of all enveloping and it kind of all balances off of each nice. other. Um, Aveda has a very distinct smell. We are 98, 97% bl uh, plant-based, all of our products. Really? Yes. So um, some of our, at this point, I think most of our products or a decent amount are vegan. We're kind of pushing towards eventually being 100% vegan. Um, we do not test on animals. Um, all of our packaging is 100% recyclable and all of our um, warehouses and manufacturers are powered by wind power. So we try really hard. All of our, wow. yes, all of our ingredients are completely ethically sourced. Um, we try our best if we can't source an ingredient ethically, a lot of times you'll find us stopping continuing a product just for a little while until we can find a way to continue to ethically source that ingredient. Um, so we try really hard and we kind of try to bring that kind of mindset into our salons as well. Um, so are you, are you on the Think Dirty app? And for people that don't know yes, what that is, yeah. Think Dirty has over a million and a half uh, products mm -hmm. that have to do with what we consume mm -hmm. on our skin, on our hair, yes. in our lives. Yes. Not what we eat, yes. but everything else around us. And we us believe that as well. Everything is, especially the skin, the skin is an organ. So a lot, a lot of my home care also involves recommending certain diet changes um, along with hair as well or other products that might interfere with the products that we're recommending, things like that. So it is a whole kind of lifestyle a uh, change in commitment kind of. Yeah. And for people that you want to invite to your Soma salon and spa, yes. <laughs> what would you tell them um, to come and join your beautiful your spa family, and, yeah. And, yeah, and be a guest? Yes, um, I mean, we are fully staffed. We always take walk-ins. Every single person that comes in our door is greeted. Uh, we, we offer, we have, Aveda's known for our tea. It's our, our comfort eating tea. And it's really, really, really good. Oh, I wish um, you brought so some. So even if, I know, I should have, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, even if you're just stopping by for product or for a menu, we always offer you tea. You're more than welcome to check anything out. A menu? Um, you have a service a menu? menu. A service menu, yes, that labels okay. all of our services. <laughs> oh yeah, we don't offer, I wish we offered food, but we don't. <laughs> Say, Sometimes we do, if we're, if we're okay. feeling fancy. Um, if you actually, if you come to us on one of our birthdays, you will get a cupcake. <laughs> And when is your birthday? <laughs> My birthday just passed, but. Oh, okay. Yes, oh, yes. Oh, your particular birthday, not the birthday of. Uh, oh yes, our uh, birthday, yeah. If, okay. if we're celebrating a staff's birthday, we get cupcakes and then the guests get to eat our, wow. air, all the cupcakes. Very yeah. cool, very cool. Um, but yeah, always, we're more than welcome. Um, all of our receptionists are super knowledgeable about all of our services, um, so they can answer any questions about any service you might be interested in. And we also always offer 15 minute complimentary um, consultations on anything. So if you haven't ever colored your hair or if you want to make a drastic change, you're not, you never had a facial before and you have no idea what it is or what one's best for you, um, you can always have a consultation where we'll sit down and discuss what you're looking for or what you need um, and we can go from there. Yeah. And it's a free consult. Oh, absolutely, yes. Yep. That's fabulous. Yeah. Folks, I want to thank you. I want to thank, thank you, you for listening. <laughs> and Tara Avila. Yes. Did I say your name you right? You did, you, perfect. From yeah. Soma <laughs> Salon and Spa yes. for joining us today. Thank you, for thank you so Connect. much for having me. Oh, you were delightful. <laughs> hey, was this a pretty easy? Uh... It was, I was so nervous. <laughs> no big whoop. Thank you, thank, thank you, you for joining thank us. You and I'm looking much. forward. Yes, come to get a come, facial. Um, definitely coming by, thank <laughs> you so much. Of course, thank you. Somerville connects. Somerville connects.